Is there, like, even anything I can do? Ah! Oh. I, I really never open this up. The heck? Wait, what's over here? Oh. For a second you thought this theme was fireflies! <laughs> Uh, let's just say you would not believe your eyes. Um, I didn't want to go here right now, but that's cool. Let's take a minute. TTYD shines bright. I just want to know if there's some that I can get in the sewers right now, other than what I already got. Oh. Yeah, there is. Oh. Okay. I got that one. It's like three more we can get right now. Interesting. Uh... Can't believe my eyes, they tell 1,000 lies. <laughs> there it is. Uh. Paper Mario, but there is a strong gust of wind to threatening to blow everyone away. That sounds like the premise of, like, one of the newer games. The hell? Location of Crystal Star has been recorded on your magical map. Hey, that shows where the fourth crystal star is. Can't that Brinkley guy read it? That'd be cool, but first we better tell him what Princess Peach's email said, right? Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> Paper Mario, but Mario is a 40 object group that kidnapped Princess Peach is bent on total world conquest? Uh-huh, you got that right. That's why those jerks need that legendary treasure. Hmm, this doesn't bode well. The situation's gotten far more serious than I thought. Let me bring you up to speed. I've been researching just what this treasure could be. One book I came across held up to what I thought was a preposterous theory. The book claimed that the treasure was, in actuality, the Great Cataclysm. The very cataclysm that, a thousand years ago, sank the town underground. So these jerks think the power of that cataclysm will help them rule the world? Can't say for sure, but what, will the, what they will do or why, but we must consider the possibility. Now that things have come to this, we mustn't let them near the legendary treasure. It's all that matters, because if they do get it, then once again, this town... Oh, the entire world could be destroyed. Then out with it, Prof. We gotta find that next crystal star super quick. Hmm, according to the map, it appears the next crystal star is in Twilight Town. Twilight Town? To tell you the truth, I don't know much about the place myself. Only rumors. Help, Luigi! I'm stuck! I'm stuck in the printer, Luigi! You gotta get me out! I've heard that, as the name implies, it's perpetually dim and eerie there. Wait just a moment. Uh, aha! There appears to be a pipe to Twilight Town somewhere here in Rogueport. 
I do believe it's somewhere under the west part of town. Yes, definitely. If you get stuck for any reason, just come back and see me again, okay? Under the ground in the west part of town? Check. Gotcha, Prof. Come on, Gonzalez, let's go. Time to break out. Break out. I don't want to check that. Okay. Partner up. Yoshi. Yes. Shazubi! Shazubi! I, I thought Yoshi was, like, flipping them off. It kind of looks like it. Yoshi, don't do that. And you may go. It's just rude. Don't flip them off. Wait, have I gone back here? Or is that another area? Oh, no, I can't go this way. Hey, a star piece. I don't know how I get that as of right now, but... Noted. How would one get that? Can't... can't reach. Maybe I just can't get it yet. Well, now that we powered up Yoshi. Just some dude singing at the bar, I guess. Uh, last stand. Oh, heck yeah. I need one, P one BP to use this badge. Is that okay? Uh, pretty look. Oh, wait. We never even equipped some stuff. I just realized... Two last stands for the partner, too. Huh. How much coins? 204. I mean... The more often they miss, the better. So, I mean, why not? Wait, what? Huh. I feel like there was something... Wait. There's a star piece up there. Fudge. Fudge. <laughs> I, I wasn't saying a cuss. Excuse me. Oh yeah, here it is. Now where exactly would that next shine sprite be? And also, is there a certain person at the docks? Oh, there is. Ah. Uh, I don't know if I want to invest there yet. Hey, what a lovely ship. Uh. Is there a way to get on the roof? Probably not, right? What the heck? Where am I? Oh, the heck? It's locked, you can't open it. Oh, wait a second, can I do this? Yeah, okay. 
Does that get us anything good? Or... Oh, what's going on here? Oh. Huh. No. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That's fine. Um. No, I should probably go to the sewers from over here. I think. You know, it seems like a really bad place to live if the sewers are right there. You just get, like, a constant odor. Hi. I'll do it. Ah, uh, what kind of stuff do you have? I want quick change, that's for sure. Power plus, maybe later. You need 7 BP for it? My god. It's a good thing we probably won't really need it uh, soon. Wait a minute. So was it down here that led to a big block? Yes, it was actually. Huh. Hey, what's over here? Oh. That sucks. I guess we go to that fight then. <clears throat> now if we did get rid of some things, we probably could equip that quick change badge, but... This upcoming chapter, we won't need it so much. I I can't even afford anything from this guy, but just gonna take a look. Now I realize we're so low on items because we. We weren't getting any items in the Blitz Pit. That's Jerry, Luigi's bob -omb buddy. He's a little different from most bob -ombs. He's really burning with a righteous fire, and I think he's seen some horrible things. Speaking of which, I wonder if I'll ever be a bride. <laughs> well, I got my second piece of the Marvelous Compass at Plump Valley Village recently. Oh boy, I really got my hands dirty on that one, I'll tell you what. It was pretty wild, bro. Wanna hear about it? It's a pretty long story. It sounds good to me. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. Once we made landfall on Strudel Continent, we made for Plump Belly Village. Once we got there, though, we immediately noticed that something was wrong. We learned from the mayor that the town was ruled by a giant snake named Hiza. He said his own daughter was going to be offered up as a sacrifice to this beast, too. So, of course, being heroic, I offered myself up to go in her stead. Brave, huh? Now, the custom was for sacrifices to be dressed as bride, so I got all dolled up. I was one hot sacrifice, bro. I looked so good, I fooled our foes and got in his lair. It was kind of rough fighting in that gown, but I managed. Shifan really chafes, bro. I finally found Hiza, and the snake had a second head on its tail. Talk about scary. I fainted real quick, but when I came to, I managed to distract both heads. They reared up, fangs bared to attack, and at that moment, I definitely lunged left. 
His gaping mouth smashed into one another, and he vanished in a cloud of smoke. A shining plate fell down on the spot where his's body had been coiled. Yes, another compass piece. I set it, and it pointed east to Circuit Break Island. Just as I was about to leave town, the mayor asked me to stay and marry his daughter. I thought about it. She was sort of cute, but we ended up sneaking off the next morning. I mean, I still have to save Princess Eclair from the Chestnut King. And when the Marvelous Compass activated this time, I heard somebody's voice. It was so beautiful, bro. I was certain it was Princess Eclair's voice. My heart began to race. That's when I realized it. Princess Eclair, I think I... Oh, I kind of zoned out there. Um, so yeah, we set sail again after ditching down. Somehow we managed to get back here to Rogueport, and here I am. What do you have to say? Hi, I guess. I'm Jerry. Uh... I'm Bobon from Plump Belly Village. Nice beating you. Sorry I sound so down, but you would be too if you saw Luigi dressed as a bride. I'm serious. It scarred me. It was honestly scarier than that giant snake thing. I feel I now have a moral duty to stop Luigi from ever dressing as a bride again. I have to protect the world from my fate. That's why I'm sticking close to this guy. Huh. Well, what a what a sweet guy. Uh, we have to go through here, don't we? Oops. Hey, a pipe. It's a Twilight Town. Sounds perfect. Or not. The pipe rejected you. Well. You ever been rejected by a pipe? Kinda hurts. I'm just not good enough for it, I guess. Not good enough for that pipe. Boing, 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 boing. Wrong place. Oops. Frankly, we found the pipe you said would take us to Twilight Town. But it doesn't work, darling. It just pushed us back out. Can't you do something? What? You can't get through the pipe, you say? How odd. Hmm, I'm afraid I haven't the foggiest idea of what you should do. Oh, of course. Heard that a fellow from Twilight Town lives here in Rogueport. If anybody knows how to get through the pipe, it'll be him. His name was, a uh, dang, what was it? Ah, oh, yes, the lover of dark places. Darkly. I've seen him lording it right past, right here in this part of town in the past. Look for Darkly. Well, I think I know where he is. Hi there. The name's Darkly. Do you guys need something? Huh? You want to know how to get through the pipe to Twilight Town? Couldn't be easier. You just need to have something that has your name written on it. Don't you have anything that has your name written on it? Come on, everyone does. No? Really? Okay, hang on. I'll write it for you. What's your name? Mario, huh? Okay, I'll write it here on the seat of your overalls. Mari... M-A-R-I-O, right? Oh my. There, perfect amundo. While I'm at it, I'll write your partner's name too. What's your name? Depends on who's asking. For you, I am Flurry. Mmm, a bit to the left. Whoa. I don't know what Aaron is taking you to Twilight Town, but I hope it goes well. I'll be rooting for you. Okay. 